Well, we know where the Supreme Court stands on gun control, and while the city fights it, we have to know how can we fix one of the country's most violent cities. I mean, it seems like every weekend there's a new report coming out, eight people dead, eight people shot, 16 people involved in a murder. What do you think about D.C. violence? I think that a lot of it isn't reported and there's more than we know about. And it's all over the city. And it even has hit the state of Maryland and some in Virginia. So it's, it's particularly throughout the city of the District of Columbia. The greater issue is probably not violence, but the lack of opportunities for some of these folks in this area. Uh, you have folks who have been disenfranchised. You have folks who have been on public assistance through generations. There are just so many other factors that lead to a crime being committed or lead to a person feeling that that's their only um, mode of action um, is, is, is committing a crime. Well, maybe it's the recession. It's probably the money a lot of the parents are trying to provide and they may not be at home to really like give their kids the attention that they need and some of them are probably falling through the cracks. Well, obviously the issue varies from city to city. What do you think the best solution is for D.C.? D.C. residents definitely need to claim our neighborhoods and definitely be about um, this community. Police just make things worse. And they put in checkpoints. You know, there's been a lot of focus on guns being available in the Trinidad neighborhood. What do you think about the focus being on that neighborhood? I, I've heard like a lot of negative negativity about that, but I think it's good. If you know where the problems are happening, then there should be security there and, you know, of course, the form of the police department. The police commissioner, I mean, she's, she's coming in and, and, and she's forced to respond. I mean, there is some more proactive things that the city as a whole can be doing. I don't want to put the solution all on the police. I mean, they're one player. People get guns and they get into the wrong hands. But, I mean, as far as, like, the wording, it's just unconstitutional, so you can't really go against that. I feel it goes back to quality education, quality jobs, um, quality uh, supports for families in need. We talk about helping out folks in foreign lands as far as Iraq and Afghanistan. And the bottom line is some of our people here in this country need the same kind of money, support, time, energy given to them and their needs as folks across the world. While the death toll rises this summer in D.C., it looks like there are a few more factors to consider before we find a solution to this problem. With WMAL Street Talk, I'm Jen Richer, 630WMAL.com.